All right, so Ferrari. The first word that comes to mind when thinking about this film is disappointing. I was not anticipating this film at all. I wasn't super excited for it. I literally saw the trailer two weeks ago. So I went in with an open mind, wanting to learn about the creator of Ferrari. And basically all I've taken out of the film is that this guy, Enzo Ferrari, will literally fuck anything that moves. The dude would literally stick his knob in a fucking car exhaust pipe. That's literally the main takeaway from this film. When it comes to biopics, you want to get closer to the person, closer to their family, learn about them, why they started, how they started, all this bullshit, right? This film here is just Adam Driver and Penelope Cruz yelling at each other. She's mad that he's gone and stuck his knob in something else. He's mad that she doesn't get it and doesn't love him or some shit. Then she's mad again. Then he's like, why aren't you listening to me? It just goes on and on. And it's broken up by scenes of like little car tests here and there, little mechanic work, and then a big race at the end. And the film really suffers from pacing issues. The first 20 minutes of this film are absolutely brutal. It's so slow. Yes, it picks up a bit throughout, especially when the cars come into play. You hear the roars of the engine, these sick racing scenes. That was great. But then you're back to this family drama. And as I said before, like when you see a biopic, you want to get closer to them. But in this, I just feel like they want you to hate Enzo. And they want you to just feel for his wife. That's the main takeaway. So the actual performances, they were all pretty good. Um, the only downfall for me was the accents. So being an Italian, being around Italians, I know what they sound like. Adam Driver's accent here, it wasn't horrible. It definitely wasn't horrible. There have been some absolutely pathetic attempts at Italian accents over the years in film. But at times, I'm looking at this performance, I'm listening to him speak, and it just sounded like Adam Driver impersonating an Italian. And that doesn't make much sense, what I just said. Actors literally get paid to fucking impersonate other people. But when you're watching these performances, I should be watching Adam Driver and actually think, holy shit, is this guy actually Italian? Knowing damn well that he's not. But I just didn't get that here. I just saw some guy trying to impersonate an Italian. It wasn't a horrible accent, but it wasn't great either. But his overall performance, Penelope Cruz's overall performance, they were all okay. But they could have been so much better. The way this film's written, Penelope Cruz is literally a fucking zombie in this movie. She plays a zombie. And again, Adam Driver's character is just a wanker. Now the actual scenes involving the cars, they were pretty damn good, especially the last race. So I'm going to compare this to Gran Turismo because all the races in that, I really did not like the way they were filmed. The cars are literally like slow mowing every two seconds. You're getting shots of inside the engine, like the fucking gears changing. Then he's like seeing a video game. It just wasn't for me. But this one here is just pure racing. Pretty awesome shots of these Ferraris going around the track. Really good audio. But the race itself didn't hold much suspense. Like going into it, I didn't know if they win. I don't know anything about Ferrari. I really think they're a fucking overrated car. But I knew they were going to win the race from the get-go. There was no doubt in my mind. And one of the biggest complaints for me. I don't know what the budget was like for this movie. <laughs> But the effects in this film, they try and be as practical as possible, which I appreciated. But my god, there's three crashes in this film. The first crash, this guy flies out of this car like a fucking starfish. It looks hilarious. Clearly a crash test dummy flying through the sky and it just looked really bad. The second crash was even worse, man. This car rolls down a hill and hits a rock from memory and I don't know why they slow mode it because it made it look 10 times worse the crash test dummy in this car like a mummy his head's like this that's the fucking crash why slow mo that and in the final race there's a massive crash and he takes out a group of people like it's 10 pin bowling but the CGI man oh my god these people look like cartoons. Even when you're looking at the aftermath of the crash, 
there's all these dead people. There was no practical effects. There was like a sword in half torso, or it wasn't sword, a split in half torso, and it looked like rubber. As I said, I don't know what the budget was like for this film. Maybe they used it all on the cars, but that took me out of it all three times. So I can't really be too harsh on this film because I wasn't anticipating it. I wasn't super excited for it. I really don't care for Ferrari. I didn't even know this film was being made until two weeks ago. So I went in. I really wanted Adam Driver to have a successful film. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen a really good film from him. I think A Marriage Story was the last one that blew me away. But this film just did not do it for me. From the acting, which as I said, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. The storytelling, it just made me hate Enzo Ferrari. Just seemed like a massive wanker. This film was just a drama about a husband and wife that fucking hate each other. That's, that's the main takeaway for me. So I really didn't have a good time with this. I really didn't have a terrible time with this. It was just okay. It was mid. So I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. So if you've seen the film, let me know what you think. And thanks always for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.